What's up everybody, Roderick here with another member of the family. You know what we got today? We got Chucky the good guy. He's a good guy. Now this Chucky doll right here is before he has all his scars, but it's after he's evil. Cause look at him, look at the face he's making. Look at that, look at that. Pretty scary, huh? Anyways, let's take a look at the packaging. Nice packaging, I'm actually really impressed by the packaging. The inside has this nice good guy box, miniature style, look at it. Fits in your hand, it looks awesome, so realistic. So let's take a look at the actual whole thing before we start busting this thing open. So, Chucky, serial killer Charles Lee Ray was gunned down by police in a fatal shootout but managed to cheat death at the last minute through the use of voodoo magic. Now trapped in the body of a child-sized good guy doll, Charles resumes his killing spree in a desperate attempt to transfer his spirit back into a human form before the change becomes permanent. Alright, so as you can see on the bottom right here, we have different poses you can do with the doll. It has different points of articulation and... That's pretty much it, age is 17 and up, so if you're under 17, you better stop watching this video right now because you might get kind of scared. This packaging looks pretty tamper-proof and child-proof, so if you're under 17, there's no way you're opening this, you know, unless you got some scissors. All right, so we're gonna cut this thing open. Let's destroy this package. Or should we keep it nice? I'm not really sure where I'm going with this yet. I just wanna get inside. Even with scissors, this is pretty complicated. Okay, okay. They really don't want kids in this, so remember, under 17, get out of here right now while it's still safe. You know what, maybe they just don't want Chucky to get out. And I just released him, oh no. All right, so, did I get it? Wow, it's, I didn't do a good job, oh, I got it. I did a perfect job, actually. All right, so, we got the little cardboard part here. You can put this on your wall if you really want to. Why not? Not too bad. Yeah, put that to the side though. We don't need that right now. Now, what we got here, boom, main event. Look at this, slides out. <sighs> Take a close look at this guy. Wow, the detail is amazing. Look at that, the packaging, it all looks awesome. Look at that. It's like you're getting a good guy, but he's possessed. You better get out while you still can. Wow. Like, look at that. The details. The artwork. So amazing. The box. It's almost a shame that I have to open this for you guys. But then it wouldn't be an unboxing, right? Gotta unbox this guy. All right, so let's take a look at the box. Even though you guys already saw it, let's look at it. Good guys, he wants you for a best friend. Let him share your secrets. I don't know if that's a good idea, actually. Hi, I'm a good guy. Let's play. Too bad this doesn't talk. That was pretty awesome. He wants you for a best friend. He can be a construction worker, guys. He can be a brave Indian. He can be a fearless fireman. It's crazy. Let's see. He can be a cowboy. He can be a courageous soldier. He can be a doctor and even a superstar baseball player. All right, so it looks like that's all the stuff. On the front, you can collect all the good guy accessories, except pretty sure those don't actually exist, but they should. I mean, why not? Give this video a nice thumbs up if you think it should exist, because I'll buy them all. Let's open this up. I'm scared. Once it's open, there's no turning back. Okay, we gotta be really careful so he doesn't jump out or something. All right, so this is what we got. It's gonna pull right out. Put the cardboard on the side. Okay. Wow. So this is what we have. We have Chucky right here in the middle. Well, a good guy, but he's not really a good guy. So I'm not really sure what to call him. So we got a hammer. We got the baseball bat, so we can be a baseball player and bash your head. We got a knife. He can be a chef or, you know, stab you. And another knife. This one doesn't have blood on it yet. All right, so right here on the back of his head, looks like it's just there to like hold him in place inside the packaging, you know, so we can't get out. And there's also some plastic in front of him, so he's trapped in here. Except his head is exposed, so 
Don't put your fingers next to his mouth because he might bite you. I'm not even gonna do it. I'm scared. All right, so we're gonna. Okay, you know what? Before we get to Chucky, we're gonna have to take a look at the actual weapons because we have to get him away, like as far away as possible, so he doesn't start using them on us. All right, we got some tape over him. See, I don't think he'd be able to peel his tape off because it was pretty hard for me to do. All right, so here's the knife. Look at this knife. It has blood on it. Oh, he's already got someone. Next, we got this nice hammer. Sparkly clean because he didn't get to you yet. It even says good guy right on it. Look at that. What? Next, we got this other knife. Looks like a machete. And it's sparkly clean because he didn't get to you yet. Last but not least, we have this nice baseball bat. If he comes after you with this, you might stand a chance. All right, now to the main event. Here we go. I'm gonna take him out of his little prison. Okay. Oh, it turns out that wasn't holding him, it was just keeping him comfortable. All right. Here we go, we got to the main event. Look at him. He just looks mad. He's like, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Look at his hair. Oh, he's got some bed head. Let's get him all nice and pretty up. All right. Look at that. Look at the details. Look at the hate in his eyes. So let's see. We can move his arms. They bend at the elbow. His wrist. His hands can turn at the wrist. Oh, wow. You can have him sit down. He bends at the knee. He has a lot of articulation points here. His feet even turn slightly. Wow, just look at his outfit. Good guy, we got the buttons, the coloring of his shirt. Wow, the detail is super nice on this. Like, it's just such a small toy, but they went all out with this thing. I can't wait for them to make one of these with the scars. Or maybe this one will start getting scars when you have to start fighting them off. Anyone else pretty scared right now? I'm pretty scared. Look, look at this. He can probably start running after you like look this is amazing okay we gotta start we gotta start giving him some weapons see if we can make him come to life all right so look at that the baseball bat snaps right into his hand he holds it perfectly he's gonna come get you all right next we got the hammer hammer doesn't fit in this hand so I gotta put the hammer in this hand Ooh, it's getting scary in here huh Whoa, he just looks mad. Whoa. No, give me that hammer back. Okay, we're gonna give you the knife. Whoa. So we just put the knife. Oh no. We gotta put it this way. Oh yeah. Oh no, though. Ooh, he's ready. Downward motion. Oh no, you guys. This is scurry. All right, and then we got the voodoo knife. Ooh. Oh. Crazy. You do not want him to come after you with this thing. Wow. So yeah, you can just sit up like this, or maybe have the knife up like this. Ooh, so scary. Put him on your table like this. You'll wake up in the middle of the night, and be like, ah! All right, so now we're gonna get interesting. We have the voodoo knife and the baseball bat. So what he's gonna do is beat you down with the baseball bat and then, you know, go crazy with the knife. Two for one special, you can't complain. Well, would you want to? Because it could get worse. He can bring the hammer too. Ooh, so scary. Here we go for a comparison. We have the good guy and we also have this rubber Chucky, which, where did I get it from? I have no idea, I just have it. As you can see, we got a lot more detail on the good guy than on this one, but then again, this is just like a rubber one filled up with like, I don't know, it's pretty squishy, I'm not sure what's inside. But as you can see, they're about the same size. Just thought you guys might like to see this. 
All right, guys, so this is the 8-inch Nika Chucky good guy doll, which isn't much of a good guy. I mean, look, he has a knife. He has a knife. But what do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know if you guys got one. If you guys want to get one, I'll throw the links down below in the description. Hopefully, I can post this video before he comes to get me. Make sure you give this video a nice thumbs up and let me know what other toys you would like to see because I have a lot coming because it is Halloween. So, you know, we got to do it. Make sure you guys hit the red subscribe button because we have a lot more coming and you do not want to miss out. Make sure you guys follow me on social media, Snapchat, and Instagram. Links are down below in the description. And until next time, me and my good guy Chucky are out, and we'll catch y'all later. Y'all should know my name, I'm a big shot. Yeah. The plan is to get guap with every tick tock on my wristwatch. Watch. And stack it from the flow to the tip top. Yeah. The game's in a gridlock. Your boy spin flames, and I've been high. So high.